Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, I am Teacher Jinjin T. Gandeza, a licensed professional teacher major in mathematics. Gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Ito ay dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante, mga magulang at mga guru. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Hello mga anak -shis. Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang complete solutions ng inyong learning task number 2, week 6. Just keep on watching! Find the product. Ang gagamitin nating pattern dito ay yung product of the square of a binomial and that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Number 1, what is the square of a plus 5? So, using the pattern, ang first term natin dito ay yung a, at ang second term ay yung 5. So, square the first term, that is a, a raised to 2, plus, since plus ito, twice the product, so 2 times a times 5, plus, square the second term, 5 squared, then simplify, a squared 2 times A equals 2A times 5 equals positive 10A. Then, 5 squared is equal to positive 25. So, this is now the final answer. Number 2, the quantity of 3XY minus 7 squared. So, ito naman ang first term ay yung 3XY at ang second term ay yung 7. Ang first step, square the first term that is 3xy squared plus twice the product of the first term. So, first term is 3xy times second term, negative 7. Then, square the second term, negative 7 squared. Then, simplify 3xy raised to 2, that is 3, unahin muna natin to, 3 times 3 equals 9. Then next ito, x times x equals x squared. Then ito naman, y times y equals y squared. So this is now the first term. Then 2 times 3xy equals 6xy. 6xy times negative 7 equals negative 42xy. Next is negative 7 squared. Ang ibig sabihin nito, negative 7 times negative 7 equals 49. Meron bang mga magkakaparehong term? Wala. So, this is now the final answer. Next, number 3, the square of x plus the quantity of y minus 2. Ang gagamitin natin dito ay itong pattern na to, yung square of a trinomial. Okay, dito meron tayong trinomial, pero nakaparentesis ito. Pwede ninyong gamitin yung square of a binomial, pero masyadong mahaba yung solution niya. So, isimplify muna natin to para maging trinomial siya. I-distribute lang natin yung positive sign dito sa loob ng parenthesis. So, that is x positive y then positive times negative equals negative 2 para maging square of a trinomial siya. Then, simplify. Ang pattern ng square of a trinomial ay square the first term. Yung a dito, yun yung first term. Yung b naman, yung second term. At yung c, yun yung third term. Okay, so ano ang first term dito? That is x raised to 2 plus square the second term, that is y squared plus square the third term. So, negative 2 squared plus 2 times the first term, that is x times the second term, that is y. 
plus 2 times the first term that is x times the third term that is negative 2 plus 2 times the second term y times c which is negative 2. Okay, so ito yung gamitin ninyong pattern pero tandaan ninyo palagi na yung a ay first term yung b, yun yung second term at yung c yun yung third term. Then simplify natin. So, x squared plus y squared plus negative 2 squared equals positive 4. Next, 2 times x equals 2x times y equals 2xy. Then, 2 times x equals 2x times negative 2 equals negative 4x. Then, dito naman, 2 times y equals 2y times negative 2 equals negative 4y. Then, i-arrange natin siya. So, x squared plus y squared. At ang susunod dito ay negative 4x. Then, negative 4y. Tapos ito, 2xy yung combination plus 2xy. At ang last ay yung positive 4. Kung merong mga magkakaparehong term, i-combine nyo muna. Pero dito, wala kasi magkakapareho. So, this is now the final answer. Next, number 4, the square of 2x plus 3y plus 5. So, ang gagamitin ulit nating pattern dito ay square of a trinomial kasi tatlo siya. Tatlong terms tapos may square. Ang una natin gagawin, square the first term. So, that is 2x raised to 2. Then, square the second term, 3y raised to 2. Then, square the third term, 5 raised to 2, plus 2 times 2x times second term, 3y, plus 2 times first term 2x times third term 5 plus 2 times second term 3y times third term 5 okay next simplify 2x times 2x that is 4x squared next 3y times 3y equals 9y squared Kasi 3 times 3, 9. Y times Y equals Y squared. Plus 5 times 5 equals 25. Plus 2 times 2X, that is 4X. Times 3Y, that is positive 12XY. Next, ito naman. 2 times 2X equals 4X. Times 5 equals positive 20x Then yung last naman 2 times 3y equals 6y Times 5 equals Positive 30y Okay, kagaya lang din siya ng ginawa natin kanina I-arrange natin siya Ang mauna ay 4x squared Plus 9y squared Ang susunod ay yung my x That is 20x At ang susunod ay yung my y positive 30y ang susunod ay yung may xy positive 12xy at yung constant positive 25 so this is now the final answer okay so another one number 5 the square of 3a minus b plus 2c ang first term natin dito ay 3a ang second term ay negative b Ang third term naman ay 2C. Next, number 6. The quantity of 4 minus 2X times the quantity of 4 plus 2X. Okay, so ito yung paborito ninyo, yung pinakamadali sa special product, the product of sum and difference. So, the product of sum and difference is equal to the square of the first term minus the square of the second term. 
Malalaman mo ang sum and difference ang gagamitin mo kapag magkapareho sila pero magkaiba sila ng sign. That is negative at positive ang kanilang sign. Okay? Dito, ano ang first term dito? That is 4 raised to 2. Minus square the second term. 2x raised to 2. Then simplify. 4 times 4 equals 16 minus 2x times 2x equals 4x squared. So, this is the final answer. Number 7, the quantity of 3xy minus abc times the quantity of 3xy plus abc. Ang first term dito ay 3xy. So, i-square lang natin to. 3xy raised to 2 minus Second term, A, B, C, raised to 2. Then, simplify. 3 times 3 equals 9. X times X equals X squared. Y times Y equals Y squared. Minus A times A equals A B squared. B times B equals B squared. Then, C times C equals C squared. This is now the final answer. Number 8, the quantity of x squared plus 4y squared times the quantity of x squared minus 4y squared. Again, ang gagamitin pa rin natin dito ay the product of the sum and difference. So, square the first term. Ang first term ay yung x squared. So, that is x squared raised to the power of 2 minus square the second term. So, ang second term natin ay 4y squared. So, 4y squared raised to the power of 2. Then, simplify. x squared raised to 2, power to power, multiply the exponent. So, that is x raised to 4. Minus 4 squared equals 16. Kasi 4 times 4, 16. Then, y squared raised to 2, multiply the exponent, that would be y raised to 4. So, this is now the final answer. Number 9, the quantity of 2 plus the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of 2 minus the quantity of x minus 1. Again, ang first term dito ay yung 2 at ang second term naman ay yung x minus 1. Ganitong pattern pa rin ang gagamitin natin. So, 2 raised to 2 minus square of the second term. So, x minus 1. Then, simplify. 2 squared equals 4 kasi 2 times 2 equals 4. Minus, uh, may square pala to, x minus 1 squared. So, isimplify muna natin to para makuha natin yung sagot x minus 1 squared. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito ay product of square of a binomial. So, the product of square of the binomial is equal to square of the first term. So, x squared plus 2 times the product of first term x times the second term negative 1 plus the square of the second term. Negative 1 squared. Okay, next, simplify natin. x squared 2 times x equals 2x times negative 1, negative 2x. Then, negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1. Okay, so ito yung sagot ng x minus 1 squared. Ngayon, substitute natin ito dito x squared minus 2x plus 1. Then, combine like terms yung mga magkakapareho. So, that is 4. Distribute natin yung negative sign dito sa may parenthesis. So, ito magiging negative x squared. Then, ito negative to negative that is positive 2x. Then, negative to positive equals negative 1. Then, simplify, combine like terms. Mauna muna to, negative x squared. 
Then, next ito, positive 2x. Then, 4 minus 1 equals positive 3. So, this is now the final answer. Negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. Next, number 10, ito. Okay, so, ang gagamitin pa rin natin dito is the product of sum and difference. Kasi magkapareho sila, pinaghiwalay ng negative at positive sign. Ang first term dito ay x plus 2 at ang second term naman ay y plus 1. Okay, so square the first term. x plus 2 squared minus square the second term. y plus 1 squared. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito ay combination na ng sum and difference and square of a binomial. So, again, ito, square of a binomial siya. Simplify muna natin. x plus 2 squared. So, that is square the first term. x squared plus 2 times first term x times second term 2 plus square the second term 2 raised to 2. Simplify x squared 2 times x equals 2x times 2 equals positive 4x then 2 times 2 equals positive 4. Okay, so ito lalagay natin dito. x squared plus 4x plus 4. Next, ito naman, y plus 1 squared. So, y plus 1 squared. Ganito rin ang gagamitin natin, square of a binomial. So, square the first term, y squared, plus twice the product of first term, y, times the second term, 1, plus square the second term, 1 squared. Simplify, y squared plus 2 times y, 2y, times 1 equals 2y pa rin. Plus, 1 times 1 equals 1. So, this is the answer. Ito, ilalagay natin dito. So, minus, maglagay tayo ng parenthesis, y squared plus 2y plus 1. Then, then combine like terms, then simplify natin to x squared plus 4x plus 4. Yung negative, i-distribute natin dito. So, negative times y squared equals negative y squared. Negative times positive 2y equals negative 2y. Negative times positive 1 equals negative 1. Okay, so wag niyong kakalimutan kapag may parenthesis ha kasi kapag diniretso niyo yung ganyan, mamamali yung signs ninyo. Then combine like terms, i-arrange na natin siya. Ang mauna ay x squared, ang susunod ay yung negative y squared, then ang susunod yung positive 4x. Then ang susunod ay negative 2y. Then, yung 4 at negative 1, i-combine natin. 4 minus 1 equals positive 3. So, this is now the final answer. Okay, so ganun lang magsagot ng special products. Abangan ninyo yung susunod na video natin about the cube of a binomial kasi masyado nang mahaba tong video na to. Sana nakatulong to sa inyo. Kung nakatulong man ito sa inyo, please mag-comment kayo sa baba ng kahit anong message upang sa ganun ay magpakita rin ito sa iba pang mga estudyante. At para ma-inspire si teacher, okay? Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. Bye!